South Korea's biggest game developer made its market debut on the Kospi this morning, but it wasn't quite the success many investors in its IPO had hoped for. Beyonji with this report. On Tuesday, South Korea's biggest game developer Krafton, the firm behind the global hit Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, had a market debut to forget on the benchmark Kospi. The company's opening price was set at 448,500 Korean won, some 390 U.S. dollars, around 10 percent lower than its IPO price of $434. Krafton's listing was expected to make one of the biggest ever splashes on the local bourse. However, analysts' concerns about its overvaluation saw the game developer's IPO draw a lukewarm response from retail investors. As of 11 a.m. Korea time, the stock price of Krafton has slumped even further, trading at around $374. During last week's two-day IPO subscription period, the firm raised deposits of around 4.35 billion U.S. dollars. This was far smaller than other IPOs this year, such as SKIE Technology, which raised $70 billion, and SK Bioscience, which pulled in $55.4 billion. That being said, Tuesday's stock price puts Krafton's market capitalization at nearly $19 billion, making it the 20th largest company in South Korea by market cap and the country's biggest game maker by market value. Krafton topped other large gaming companies, such as NCSoft, which has a market cap of $15.7 billion, and Netmarbles, which is some $10 billion. Peunji, Arirang News.